Hello everyone, the People's Anti-Establishment Anti-Corruption Party News is the news filtered by the peak so you can watch the news without New World Order propaganda, thus saving you time. Okay, let's see what your mind makes of this unfiltered truth. Breaking News A New World Order whistleblower explains the scam being performed on the world by the New World Order banking debt slave system. In a world governed by secrecy and manipulation, where power lies in the hands of a few, a sinister alliance thrives. The New World Order, an elusive organization, pulls the strings behind governments, both left and right, and their collaboration with the banking system forms the core of a diabolical scheme. Deep within the shadows, Gangster 1 and Gangster 2 engage in a conversation that unravels the intricacies of their malicious plan. Gangster 1, a mastermind with a thirst for control, proposes an audacious idea to Gangster 2, his partner in crime. Imagine, he begins, I shall become the central bank, and you, Gangster 2, shall assume the role of the government. As Gangster 1 elucidates his twisted vision, he reveals the mechanics of their scheme. Gangster 2, empowered by his position as the government, will grant Gangster 1 the authority to print money. To conceal their true intentions, Gangster 2 will issue government bonds, claiming that the government needs to borrow more money. This deception ensures that the burden falls on the people, rather than explicitly stating that they will be indebted. With the counterfeit money in hand, Gangster 2 and his government will allocate a fraction of it to public projects, such as road repairs and infrastructure development. And much more to defense projects and weapons manufacture, which the gangsters have shares in. Then they create continuous wars with their partners in other territories, keeping an ongoing perceived need for a military-industrial complex by the people. This strategic allocation serves as a smokescreen, disguising their true motives. The majority of the funds, however, find their way into their own pockets, enriching their empire. As the illusion of progress fades and disillusionment spreads among the populace, Gangster 1 and Gangster 2 orchestrate the next phase of their grand manipulation. They allow the other side of the political spectrum, the opposition, to assume power, capitalizing on the people's desire for change. This new government, seemingly different from its predecessor, pledges to rectify the problems caused by the previous administration. Yet, unbeknownst to the people, this transition of power is nothing but a charade. The newly elected government, just like the one before it, will follow the same script. It will borrow exorbitant sums of money, presenting a facade of progress by investing a fraction of it in societal improvements. This short-term prosperity serves only to create a nostalgic memory for the people, fueling their longing for the earlier days when the party they supported was in power. Inevitably, the illusion shatters once again. The government claims to have depleted its financial resources, leaving the majority disillusioned and yearning for a solution. And so, the cycle repeats itself, with the people falling prey to the political theater perpetuated by the NWO and its cronies. To sustain this intricate conspiracy and defraud the people of the world, the governments rely on continuous borrowing from the banks. The burden of their deceitful actions ultimately falls on the shoulders of ordinary individuals, who unwittingly become the financiers of their own oppression. This twisted web of manipulation and greed forms a conspiracy theory like no other. The audacity of their deceit rivals even the most entrenched religious dogmas, leaving the world entangled in a web of lies, power, and the insatiable thirst for control. So people, what did you think of that conspiracy theory, do you believe it, or do you think it is just a conspiracy theory created by the CIA to distract you from the banking collapse, economic collapse, who you're going to vote for next and the wars? Good night everyone. Terms and conditions apply. Adding Peak to your profile name does not make you a Peak member it only conveys you want to destroy the present system and create a new system. Always read the small print.